Hi folks, welcome back to The Horde. It's about 11.30, it is August 9th, Saturday. This is 70 degrees, that says 69 degrees, and 21.1 degrees centigrade. Actually, it's kind of a nice day, right? Got some blue skies going on here, no clouds. Guess the Hudson Valley has a high pressure over it, so we're getting some good weather. Batteries were charged until a second ago, and they just, for some reason, went back to charging. So there we are. What am I up to today? I have to be completely honest with you. I have to do something I never thought I would do. If one thinks this garage is kind of a mess, just quickly let me pan over it. Um... It's really nothing. This is an amateur um, mess compared to what I have going on downstairs. This is a baby mess. This is a mess that only took me, I don't know, when did I build this place? Four years ago or so? Um, so this is only four years worth of mess, right? You want to see a real mess? Let me bring you to the lower, the lower garage. Even for me, this bit of hoard has gone out of control. I can't, I can't do anything with it. It's, it's finally gotten beyond me. So, I have no choice but to uh, to start emptying it out and this is just some crazy stuff here if I don't do something with this I'm gonna go into winter again and then I'm not gonna be able to move and when, when one really gets into trouble with it is God forbid I have like um, water comes in here once every couple of years and not a lot a few inches but even with that with all this crap in here I mean dehumidifiers um, compressors and carts and computers just boxes and boxes of crap a lot of this stuff is really cool I mean Kubota diesel motor um, a lot of really cool stuff, but it's just a matter of, you, you know, I'm drowning in it. I'm literally drowning in this stuff. This is a Suzuki. I guess it's called an LT230. I was going to put another engine on it, put a Honda engine on it. But, you know, with all the bikes I got floating around, I think this is a project that um, is, is moving out of here. A um, friend of mine, Musty One, what he does, and it actually seems to be a really, really good idea, he has a scrap trailer. So what he'll do is he moves stuff out to the trailer, and after a while, as sitting on the trailer, he'll need the trailer for something else, or he'll just be sick of looking at the crap on the trailer. And while it's on the trailer, he'll take parts off of it and, you know, generator hoard, look at this. He'll take parts off of it and use it for whatever. But then gradually, what's sitting on the trailer after a while, I'm assuming he's not covering it or anything, just becomes rusty crap. And once it gets to that point, you say, you know what, I need the trailer. I just assume put eight cents per pound into my pocket. Maybe you got a thousand pounds on the, on the trailer. You drive it away, you get rid of it, and you put 80 bucks in your pocket. Then you come home. And you surprise the old lady and ask her out to eat or something. You know, um, because this is, this has gone beyond, beyond crazy. This garage, believe it or not, is not horrible. Um, there's actually the backhoe loader in it. You can see the generators. And behind the backhoe loader on that shelf, believe it or not, is a bunch of quads and three wheelers and so forth of the like. So this half the garage is actually somewhat organized. Um, 
I know you probably don't believe it, but um, it, it it actually is, you know. But like kerosene containers, some of those containers are old enough now that if I put kerosene in them, they're brittle and it's just going to fall through the bottom and spill all over the place. Why am I storing those containers of crap? If I had to get the backhoe out now, I mean this is going to fall over. I I need to do something. Backhoe hasn't moved in so long. I don't know if I can get enough light. Look at the back tire, right? Next thing I know, I'm going to end up cutting the tube, and then I'm not going to be able to use the backhoe. So finally, it's happened, guys. Harvey has to clean up. I'm making this uh, video because uh, as I'm trying to tackle this mess, I'm not even sure it could be tackled by a human being, not even by a grand hoarder like myself. So, um... If uh, you guys see an obituary in the Hudson Valley for some hoarder that was crushed by his hoard, you might want to track the address down and get there for the garage sale because there's a lot of really cool stuff here. Um, yeah, my wife will sell it off cheap. She's got no respect for the hoard. So, anyway, I'm going to run and start and see what I can do with this because it's just looking horrible. It's just, I just have to do, you know. It's gotten to the point, folks. The hoarder's even being chased out of the hoard. I mean, you touch stuff, you get oil on it. I mean, what is that? Is it oil? Is it gas? It feels like oil, smells like oil. I mean, but everything's a wreck here. I gotta do something. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde. And by the way, just in case I make any progress, I have a deal cooking on a John Deere. Gotta love it. Bye now. Oh, uh, by the way, keep your feet down, your head up, and enjoy your lives. Remember, tomorrow's not, uh, not a given.